everybody, how you guys doing? Apa kabar? And wait a second, let me just take this off. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. Do I have an important news for you guys? An important news for you who want to go to Bali in April. And also an important news for you who already here in Bali. It's something related to the immigration. So watch this video until the end. My name is Sofi Misa. I'm your host in Bali. Welcome to WhatsApp Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to go to Bali, how to live in Bali, and condition in Bali now. If you did on those, consider to subscribe. Guys, I have an important news to announce, to tell all of you. So listen carefully. Start from 6th of April all the way to the 15th of April, the immigration, the banks, and all government's offices will close 10 days. What? I repeat, start from the 6th of April in five days, all the way to the 15th of April. So it was 10 days. The immigration, banks, and all government offices will close. So what does it mean? It means all the extension process, all the visa process, and all the KITAS process will be on hold from the 6th to the 15th of April. Uh, from the 6th, I repeat, all the visa process, all the extension process, and all KITAS process will be on hold from the 6th of April all the way to the 15th of April. All those process will be continued on the 16th of April. Let me give you an example. Let's say if you apply a 211A visa to your agent. Normally, regular process is 10 business working days. So if you submit it, let's say today, Monday, the 1st of April, 10 business working days process, normally you will get your visa around 11, 12 of April, 10 business working days. But now, due to this holiday, if you submitted your application today, Monday, the 1st of April, you will get your visa around 22nd, 23rd of April. So long! It's not because of us. It's not because your visa agency. It's because the immigration closed. So your process will be on hold from the 6th of April all the way to the 15th of April. Then they're gonna continue the process. That's why even you submit it today, the 1st of April, your visa will be done on the 23rd or 22nd April. <laughs> About three weeks. Wow. So don't be mad to your agency. And for you, listen up, and for you who already here, maybe arrive sometimes in the beginning of this month, in the beginning of March for visa on arrival holder, or for you who have 211A visa and arriving sometimes in February, mid of February, you better check your visa expiring dates right now. When you arrive, if you went through the auto gate, check your email, you will get this email like this and it mentioned there your expiring date but if you went through the regular immigration counter get your passport check your passport and you'll see this sticker it also mentioned your um, expiring dates if your visa expires between the 6th and 16th of april you better submit it now contact your agent ask them to extend your visa right away because if you're not submitting before the 5th you cannot extend your visa until the 16th of april you will be overstay 1 million indonesian rupiah per day fine 70 us dollars per day fine and if you come with the 211a visa and you get it from your visa agency call your visa agency because your visa agency should have this email about your expiring date contact them make sure you're not gonna be overstay because once you submit it, even your extension will be done like end of April. Once you submit it, you will not overstay. And it goes same to you for you who want to fly to Bali between the 5th and the 16th of April. You have to call your visa agency right now, ask them to speed it up. Because there is no visa issuing between the 6th and the 16th of april no visa issued in those days so better make sure you got your visa by the 5th of april call your visa agency tell them to speed it up by the way if you want me to be your sponsor if you want me to do your visa this is my email send me email i could do you 211a visa the d1 d12 and any kitas anyway where were we oh yeah so if you have a plan to fly 
to Bali between the 5th and the 16th of April, you better get your visa before the 5th of April. But I think even if you have a plan to fly in to Bali, let's say 17, 18, 19, 20, better speed it up, you know, because your process is on hold between the 6th and the 17th. So, yeah, and and normally it takes like 10 business working days. So get your calendar counting when you, you submit it and then counting out and then don't count the weekend and the holiday between the 5th and the 15th. Count it yourself. If it's not enough time, then speed it up. And it's not only for immigration. Banks also close. All the government offices also close. So if, if somehow you need to go to the bank, do it before the 5th of April. Well, I think that's all. Oh, by the way, read to my last video about the Airbnb, Booking.com that will be banned. Turn out, I just got news that Airbnb and Booking.com now already registered. So they're not gonna be banned. And the booking continue. Yoo-hoo! All right, that's all from now. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you won't miss any update from me regarding how to go to Bali, how to live in Bali, and condition in Bali now. Just like this one, long holiday which affect your visa application. So make sure even you are already in Bali, keep watching my channel. So you will always update it. Until next video, my name is Akimisa. I'm your host in Bali. See you in Wasa Bali Coffee Shop.